Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In the last video, we saw the comparison between Nexstar 8SE and Mead's LX65 8 inch telescope. In this video, we'll see the difference between Nexstar 6SE and Mead's LX65 6 inch telescope. Some of these telescopes are designed for entry to mid level astronomers. The Nexstar XSE is a Schmidt Kaze grain type telescope, while the LX65 is a Maksutov Kaze grain type telescope. They both have an aperture of 150 millimeters. The focal length of the 6SE is 1500 millimeters with a focal ratio of 10. The LX65 has a focal length of 1800 millimeters with a focal ratio of 12. Both of them come with a 25 millimeter plausal eyepiece and have a red dot viewfinder technology. The optical tube dimensions are a little different in both telescopes. 6SE has a length of 16 inches, while LX65 has a length of 18 inches. The weight of the telescope is also different for both of them. The 6SE weighs around 10 kilograms when it's fully assembled. However, the LX65 weighs more than the 6SE when assembled. In LX65, the weight of the optical tube is 6 kilograms. Both of these telescopes have a single fork alt azimuth mount. Celestron's mount can carry weight up to 5 kilograms. However, LX65's mount is equipped with two Vixen style dovetail saddles that allow you to mount two telescopes at the same time. One is for your main primary telescope and the second is for the secondary telescope or a camera rig. Overall, the mount payload capacity is 10 kilograms, but you should put all 10 kilogram payloads on one side of the mount. The primary payload capacity is 6.8 kilograms and the secondary payload capacity is 3.2 kilograms. This is very convenient for astrophotography or if you want the wide field perspective and zoomed in perspective at the same time. Next star's mount comes with a database of about 40,000 celestial objects, while Alex 65's mount comes with a database of 30,000 celestial objects. The brain of the Alex 65 is the venerable AudioStar computer controller technology. The AudioStar user interface has features such as guided tours, extended information on popular objects, and multiple alignment options. It also has built-in speakers and which you can listen to narration about what you're looking at through your telescope. Let's see what you can see with these telescopes. With both telescopes, you can see objects and other solar systems, star cluster nebulas, and galaxies. However, if you are observing planets with Alex 65, then it will perform better than the 6SE. Alex 65 has a slightly longer focal length than 6SE, which will give you a little narrower view. This narrow view will not be much helpful in deep space stargazing, but will help in observing planets in our solar system. Now, which one should you buy? While making this decision, you need to know what you want to observe with your telescope. If you are someone who wants to observe planets in our solar system, then the LX65 will serve you better. If you want to do both, such as observing our solar system and deep space objects, then go with the 6SE. Even if you go with this LX65, then you can get your wide field view by mounting a secondary telescope. So LX65 is a plus point here as you can use two telescopes at the same time. Also, as the LX65 mount has a greater payload capacity, it will be more stable compared to the 6SE mount. If you are someone who is a beginner, then starting with Celestron is great, as it is very easy to set up and quite beginner friendly. Also, both of these are 6 inch aperture telescopes, and if you are very serious about following your hobby for the long term, then eventually you will be in the market shopping for a bigger telescope. So, if you can stretch your budget, then you should consider buying an 8 inch telescope from either of these brands. But if you do not have a budget or you are not sure about following this hobby for the long term, then both of these 6 inch telescopes will serve you better according to your purpose. I hope this video has helped you to understand the difference between these two telescopes to make a better buying decision. If it did, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more technology related content. If you want the review of any telescope you have in your mind, then please let us know in the comments below. See you in the next video. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.